Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Lithography machines are an important part of the development of China's integrated circuit industry and are essential equipment in the integrated circuit manufacturing process. However, because the United States and its allies have implemented a series of economic blockades against China, lithography machines have become a core technology that China cannot obtain. However, the Dutch semiconductor manufacturing company ASML suddenly switched sides and stated that it would continue to ship lithography machines to China, which triggered great interest and speculation in the industry. Therefore, China will conduct an empirical study on ASML's strategic choice motivations and its impact on China's semiconductor industry. ASML officially issued a statement and ignored the three-party cooperation. Just when the United States and other allies wanted to unite to suppress China, ASML ignored the tripartite agreement and announced that it would sell lithography equipment to China with the support of the Netherlands. This means that China's semiconductor industry has received opportunities for continued growth, accelerating the process of shifting the domestic market to the domestic market. What was the reason for ASML's decision? Why did ASML choose China? ASML's return to China is largely due to the fact that China is the world's largest integrated circuit manufacturing company. Although China is still far behind large companies such as TSMC and Intel in terms of chip production technology and capacity, Chinese chip manufacturer SMIC has become the fastest growing company in recent years due to its reliance on the Chinese market. Company of ASML once imposed strict controls on American chips, but now they have realized that losing the Chinese market will not bring them any benefits. However, due to the serious oversupply of chip production worldwide, European and American countries have increasingly demanded this, so that many semiconductor companies have begun to reduce the import of lithography equipment. It is based on this that ASML decided to enter the Chinese market again to obtain greater profits. Enlightenment from China's chip industry ASML has once again opened its doors to the Chinese market, which is a good thing for China's semiconductor industry. First of all, China's wafer foundries have gained an opportunity to reserve photolithography machines on a large scale, thus laying the foundation for the localization of domestic chips. Secondly, Chinese chip manufacturers can improve the precision of the process through the photolithography process, thereby driving the development and innovation of related industries. At the same time, ASML's decision has made more and more countries and companies realize that following the United States sanctions against China is detrimental to them, and they have begun to gradually seek to circumvent these constraints and strengthen their independent innovation capabilities in key areas. Dutch and American Civil War ASML Option Sparks Backlash this decision of ASML has brought a glimmer of hope to China's chip industry and also caused conflicts in the Netherlands and the United States. Dutch Foreign Affairs Minister Schreinemacher said that the Netherlands will make corresponding changes in accordance with its own interests and will not blindly imitate the US economic sanctions against the country.
The Netherlands' decision to ship lithography equipment to the Chinese market aroused strong dissatisfaction from the U.S. media, which blamed the Netherlands for sanctions against China. At the same time, the U.S. Department of Commerce is also stepping up its crackdown on China. It is said that it will not only ban photolithography machines, but also ban their parts. The Netherlands is an independent country, and its foreign policy decisions are based on its own interests. After the Netherlands implemented export control measures against Chinese lithography machines, ASML quickly stated that they had obtained a shipping license to sell optical microscopes to China. This shows that the Dutch government is not absolutely obedient to the United States, but has its own positioning and considerations. The Netherlands is diplomatically independent, as can be seen from the speech of Dutch Foreign Affairs Minister Schreiner Mayer. American journalists were very angry about this decision of the Netherlands and condemned it one after another but the Netherlands seemed not to care and still stood by its position. The dilemma of China's integrated circuit industry, taking a path of independent research and development. China's semiconductor industry has been under tremendous impact and pressure under the double blow from the United States and its allies. However, Faced with this unfavorable situation, China's semiconductor industry is unwilling to sit still and wait for death. They have decided to increase local development efforts and seek a way to break through the bottleneck. Strengthen independent research and development of core technologies. Chinese semiconductor companies realize that relying on foreign technology and equipment is unsustainable. It is precisely because of this that they will pay more attention to their core technology and strive to make breakthroughs in some important fields. For example, SMIC, a leading company in China's semiconductor industry, is working hard to improve its technological level and reduce its dependence on foreign equipment. Chinese semiconductor companies hope to achieve breakthroughs in some key technologies through their own research and innovation, thereby achieving control of the entire semiconductor industry. China's chip industry, while strengthening local research and development, is also looking for ways to make breakthroughs. For example, in order to circumvent the U.S. ban, Japanese equipment manufacturer Nikon has begun to provide semiconductor products using ordinary components to the Chinese market. This positive discussion shows that China's chip industry has sufficient determination and strength to reduce its dependence on foreign equipment and ensure the sustainable development of the semiconductor industry. ASML's announcement on the shipment of lithography machines to China has injected a glimmer of hope into China's semiconductor industry. The reason why the Netherlands wants to act alone also shows that the U.S. sanctions against Iran are not generally recognized by the international community. Faced with this unfavorable situation, China's integrated circuit industry has adopted ways to strengthen its own research and development, seek to break through bottlenecks, and achieve sustainable development. China's integrated circuit industry will continue to work hard in the future and move towards an independent and controllable direction.